Secrets are in a context. They don't just occur inside one individual. And very few secrets ever stay inside one individual. There are what I would call essential secrets. A woman's being beaten by her husband, and she starts to make a plan that she's going to take the children and go to a shelter. That's an essential secret. The secrets that I think come into therapists' offices and the ones that are troubling for families are sort of two categories, and one I would call toxic secrets and one I would call dangerous secrets. Toxic secrets are long-lasting. They poison relationships and well-being over time. It doesn't have to come out tomorrow. Nobody is in immediate danger. Contrasted to dangerous secrets, let's say very severe drug addiction, or a suicidal plan, or a plan to kill somebody, or a plan to, you know, cut yourself. If you come upon a dangerous secret, you have to move quickly and get help, get resolution. There are what I call sweet secrets in families. These are usually time-limited and for somebody else's good. So a gift, a surprise party, things like that.